There's outrage on Capitol Hill following President Trump's halt on COVID negotiations. It is unconscionable. Connecticut Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro says the president is abandoning the American people. The president should never have walked away. America's hurting. I mean, the, the count of deaths is unbelievable. Maryland Congressman David Trone says the sticking point remains how to help states. The point that's separating them is money to the states and local government. Rhode Island Congressman Jim Langevin says before the president's tweet, negotiations were progressing. This isn't a game. Doing too little on additional stimulus uh, or, or nothing is a, a greater danger than doing too much. Late Tuesday, President Trump seemed to endorse Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell's call for more COVID relief. But White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows says it must be targeted. We're looking at uh, the potential for standalone bills. There's about 10 things that we agree on. Those items include relief for the airline industry and additional direct payments to Americans. Louisiana Senator John Kennedy says he needs to know what's in those bills before he can support them and that Senate Republicans already put their off Offer on the table. $500 billion and every single solitary Democrat voted against it. The last House proposal was four times larger than what Senate Republicans say is necessary. Reporting in Washington, I'm Morgan Wright.